Hey guys, I went to Alice's yesterday and we had the best time. Wait till you see what she did to her bedchamber. Here comes part one. chamber oh my goodness so you have had some things done in here I have I have so today we're gonna I'm gonna give you a little history uh, of the bed chamber how it kind of came to be mm -hmm. and then we'll walk around and talk about some of the items that maybe would have been in a bed chamber um, I think the earliest ones were gonna be a little sparse but uh, so we'll just kind of go around the room, mm -hmm. and um, so here's some interesting information I found out about the bedchamber. Well, way, way back, like 77,000 years ago, uh, obviously there were caves. They would put down these sedge uh, grass mats that were they had a smell to them, and they would um, repel insects. So that was it, you know, that, that's all they had. And then uh, kind of medieval times, there was a, the Great Hall and everybody uh, worked in the Great Hall, cooked in the Great Hall, everything happened in the Great Hall. So they would gather, put their little mats down and there was probably a central fireplace of some sort and they would all kind of sleep in that hall. Now the, the uh, I don't want to say the lords and ladies, but uh, maybe they were lords and ladies. They slept on an upper level. Hmm. Um, but uh, the, the, it was kind of uh, all connected. It wasn't like our stairways, hallways, separate bedrooms. They were kind of all connected and then they all needed servants. Um, so the servants could go from room to room to room without you know, in, in between the rooms. Mm -hmm. So, oh, uh, also way back, the Chinese would have these uh, platforms and they would heat stones and put them under the platforms uh -huh. and the beds would be a little bit warmer. And of course now, uh, later they had the, um, the bed warmers. Right. You know, but they also sometimes would warm up the stones. Oh, and that's actually, I guess, a little bit safer than yeah. having the coals, even though they would be in brass. Right. So they were tr really trying to um, heat up, the, keep their beds warm, and obviously keep the insects away from them. Okay. So right. now bedrooms weren't private places. <laughs> <laughs> they did sleep there, but sometimes, like the king and the queen or the lord and the lady, slept in different bedrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, the servants would sleep in those rooms with them. Um, you know, they needed servants' help with all their clothes and all the things mm -hmm. that they needed to do. So uh, early on, the servants would just stay in those rooms, put down their little grass mat, and just sleep there. Huh. Um, but it was also a place for where they did they conducted important business trading you know marriages weddings births all in the well deaths, obviously births too all, all, all of that <laughs> yeah um was done in those rooms um and that's why if we just look over here i've set up just a, a little tea area um so maybe you would have had a guest here, maybe you would have done business, maybe, you know, I don't know that they would have really had a, a, a tea table here, but they might have. Mm -hmm. They might have had a desk to do business. Mm -hmm. uh, but all kinds of things, uh, it was kind of an important place, and if you, you were important, if you got asked to stay or sleep over, it was a very important room. It's not like now private. It wasn't really private right. at all. So, which is why when we go to all these museums, these, these colonial museums, yes. they always have um, chairs and yeah, table chair, in the bed chamber. Maybe a desk, yes. you know, to, business. to do their work. And right. maybe they would have entertained uh, a guest 
with tea or something to mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. More kind of like a hotel room, I yeah. guess. Yeah. You know, a lot of activity. Okay. But again, uh, they were very important places and uh, you were pretty special if you actually got to sleep there. Mm. So then, um, as time moves on and the, and the middle class became uh, more populated, they started building homes that had that upper chamber, I think hence the bed chamber. And so um, they would have the stairs and they would have hallways and then they would have the rooms. But again, the rooms weren't real private. Okay. A lot of activity yep. uh, went on in those rooms. As and again, as you get into the Georgian, the federal period, they're all built around those beautiful staircases. Mm -hmm. And now the rooms are separate, they're not connected. So the servants have their own quarters and they don't have to walk through each individual room to wait on uh, the Lord and the ladies. Um, so. Now that we're just looking at the bed, I just want to talk about some of the bedsteads. The Egyptians actually uh, had beds that were, you know, four-poster and lifted up off the ground. And mm -hmm. again, to keep all the critters and the varmints away. Mm -hmm. And um, beds were very expensive to make, and they had a lot of uh, mattresses and ticking and bed clothes and some of them would have had curtains and you know the bed carpets they called them so it was a very expensive proposition to get a bed so when they had their inventories beds were always listed as one of their prized objects and they were also passed down in their wills they were wow. passed down in the family yeah. now um, the rich people when they traveled would have their beds brought with them Huh? Can you imagine? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and so you feed it. You, you need all the, the servants yeah. to help set this bed up every time, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, but uh, they were very, uh, very expensive and uh, very prized. And sometimes mm. they were made really big so more than one person could actually sleep in, in the beds. Okay. So. So your bed. Yes. Is that an original antique or is that a reproduction? This, this is not. I got, I ordered, this is called a thistle bed. Okay. And you can see this looks like a thistle. Oh. You know, that little Scottish, Scottish purple flower yes. that looks like the, yeah. yeah. And this is actually uh, brown over red. And if you look closer, if you can see the little, a little bit of crazing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a it's a reproduction. Mm -hmm. I had another four poster. Um, they call it a rice car bed, but okay. I wanted to get a little more primitive. So this I actually got through uh, Circa. Is it Circa Living? Hold on, let me get the. You'd think I remember all this stuff, but no. All right, let me just see. Circa Home Living, you know that magazine? Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, so you had to order it. And it okay. Took, you know, I don't know. It took a few months to get. Yeah. It out. Yeah. But it's 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 more. It's beautiful. Within the time period that right. I really like. Right. So say 1830ish. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, I love. Not that. quite empire, but I think getting there. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. And while we're talking about beds, we can just talk about some of uh, the coverings. We talked about uh, jacquard. Um, coverlets yes and the jacquards they have the they're like double loomed mm -hmm. so one side is darker this is the red and the blue and the green and then it's like the opposite mm -hmm. so for the summertime I put the lighter side oh, out yes and then in the winter I flip it over and I actually changed out the bed pillows just for a little bit of a lighter look mm-hmm Mm -hmm. So those of you who haven't seen the video on textiles mm -hmm. and coverlets, we'll put the little link on top here for you to see it. But Alice went through her whole collection last year and showed them to us. So Well, I don't know if I went through my whole collection. <laughs> <laughs> but and what I'll do is I will show you, uh, now that we're kind of talking about these, here's another one over here. Now this one has... Uh, four colors, mm -hmm. uh, which makes it a little more valuable. Usually they're three, mm -hmm. but this one has four. And then again, 
I'm just going to flip that so you can see this is the person's name. There's no yeah. date on this one. Clarissa. But a lot of times the weaver would um, put the date, his name, okay. and the date. Again, it's like double woven, so yeah. it's darker, and then, you know, it's a little bit lighter. Right. I've got one over here that actually does have the date. It's, bl it's just blue and white. So I never wanted one until I saw yours, oh. and now, of course, I want some. Yeah. Now, once you want one, then you want <laughs> more. <laughs> All right, so here's one that has Campbell, C. Campbell, uh -huh. Bethany, Genesee County, New York. Wow. And it does have the date. 1837. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if usually if it has the date, I know they do make reproductions and they, they'll weave them for somebody, but it's usually a more current date, you know. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. when it flips over, it's, it's backwards and it's the opposite color. Yep, I love that. Yeah. And I especially like uh, these themes, mm. the trees and the eagles. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Very nice. So these are kinds of things they would have had on their bed. Yeah. And then here's another one. I'm just going to move this over here. Giving me my exercise. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Nice. So this looks a little bit German to me. Okay. Beautiful. And Beautiful. then it has some more um, writing on it. Uh-huh. But isn't wow. it, uh, yeah. Wow. Just beautiful works of art. Yeah. It's just beautiful. 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 And then under it is a is a blanket. So they would have okay. had blankets and these okay. would have, you know, been lots of blankets to keep warm because obviously, you know, there wasn't central heat. Mm-hmm. All right, so I will put this back over here. All right, so um, I guess we can talk about. I had a whole plan, which. Okay, I want to start here. All right, okay. We're going to start where Ann says we're starting. Oh, okay. I guess I have to tell you that I paneled my room since the last time I saw all of you. And I said, oh, Alice, you need another project. <laughs> So when I had my carpenter come, I was just going to do this back wall because mm -hmm. uh, it's a very deep color. I'm pretty sure it's Newburyport blue um, it, under the Benjamin Moore historical colors. Right. But if it's not, I'll find the right name, but I'm pretty sure it is. We were just going to do this one wall and then we got talking and I wanted a fireplace on this wall, um, a, a pretend fireplace. Right. And then he was saying, well, you know, you could do here. Well, that, that was the wrong thing to say to me. I said, oh, I could. Then he says, you know, he says, the fireplace really would have been more centrally located in a center chimney cape. Uh -huh. And actually, oh. even though I have gas fireplaces, the, if you want to call it a flue, actually does go right up in the hallway. So this really is the center. Right, right. So I said, let's go with it. And, and we decided to do, well, I decided to do raised panels. I love them. Because um, I did um, different panels downstairs. So I wanted to do something different. I felt it was a little more formal. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think that... Um, it just adds, I don't know, it's, it adds coziness. And all the bedrooms obviously would have had fireplaces. And if they did paneling, it probably, if they were only do one wall, not the whole room, which a lot of them were paneled all the way, they would have done just a fireplace mm -hmm. wall. Mm -hmm. So now we get to talk about this beautiful fireboard that is actually painted on the wall uh, by Susan Dwyer. <laughs> she is so wonderful. She's fabulous. She's been going all over yes. to paint murals. Yes. Like, no matter where you guys live, you yes. can have Susan come yes. and paint a mural so for you. So if you love what she does, she'll travel to you. Mm -hmm. she's, she's amazing. So I, I did look through Pinterest and I pinned a few things and, and, and you know, then when she came, I just said, well, I want some red, I want a tonautical, I, I think I want to... I want a whale. I need a whale. Absolutely need and a whale. I wanted it different, not compete with these other ones okay. over here. Right. 
So she just sat down there and just within a little over an hour it was done. Mm -hmm. And I sat and talked to her the whole time. Of course she did. I was, like, <laughs> was going to leave and she was like, why are you leaving? I'm like, uh, so you I, can I work? don't know. You know she yeah. goes, no, just sit and talk to me. I'm like, yeah. great, okay. Yeah. No stencil, nothing. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Rufus Porter, he, he might have, he was an itinerant painter. Yes. And he might have used some stencils, mm -hmm. but also done a lot of freehand. But mm -hmm. she just does it. You know, free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was the best uh, solution mm -hmm. because a fireboard with it on little feet would have come too far into the room. Yeah, that makes sense. And I just thought this yep. was a, a better look. Yep. So, um, great thing about antiques mm -hmm. is if you do something new in your house, mm -hmm. you go downstairs and you find stuff uh -huh. to put on your fireboard. You shop in your house. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know, some of you may remember this was uh, just. Uh, leaning on my uh, drawing room fireplace. What's there now? Well, I have a sampler there. Okay. Of course. Uh, there was something waiting to go in its yes, place. Yes, yes. So, um, this panel is quite large and so I, f I thought that he fit in here just perfectly and maybe mm -hmm. he was a sea captain, hence the... Right, that the looks... Sea. That's yes. my story that's going That's a great that. story. Yes. Yes. So then, you know, they would have obviously needed a lighting. So I went downstairs to my front foyer and I, I brought the sconces up and um, these would, if there was a fire, they would obviously, and, and if they were lit, they would obviously bring a lot more light into the room. Mm -hmm. So we did that mm -hmm. and then I said, I must have candlesticks. Mm -hmm. So I brought a few of them up mm -hmm. and then, now the dogs, the dogs. <laughs> so I had, this, I had this one guy, and then when I was at the Cape one weekend, somehow a couple more came home with me. Uh. <laughs> but they would have been on the mantles. These uh -huh. are Staffordshire dogs. And uh, this is one of those things when you first start collecting, and you think, I don't really, I don't really yeah. like those. Yeah. yeah. But then the more you see it, again, remember we talked about redware? The yes. more you see it, the more you like it. Yeah. You're a bad friend for me to have. <laughs> I would be a good friend. <laughs> and, uh, so these two guys are here and then I, I guess I have a couple more and I think, oh I know, I think I put them downstairs in my mantle, okay. uh, fireplace. I think that's, or, or I might have put them on either side. I have a beautiful um, wallpaper box. I think I may have put both of them because I think they're the same. Okay. You don't need a yes. side. Yes. But again, you can mix. That's a great They're thing. Darling. You can just do it every day. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. So um, they would have needed light, mm -hmm. obviously, in a bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, so they, <clears throat> and they would have obviously want to keep the bed warm. So mm -hmm. here we have uh, the bed warmer. Mm -hmm. Again, another thing from downstairs mm -hmm. that I found. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, just beautifully um, yeah. decorated. Just an ordinary object, you right. know. I'm sure it wasn't anything special. No. So the, that they would have put under the covers, and as I mentioned before, the Egyptians, you know, back in Egyptian time, they would heat stones. Wow. So they were all into keeping warm mm -hmm. and keeping the bugs off themselves. Mm -hmm. And then also, I have a foot warmer. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um, Maybe you had tea and you put your feet over it and, you know, mm -hmm. you could put a little, um, well, I don't know if I put anything that would burn, but... <laughs> but you could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you could put something over it, but just kind of watch it, right. you know? And then I also, um, well, I have to tell you this. My bureau used to be here, mm -hmm. so... That necessitated a whole move around of all the furniture and one piece was an odd man out. But, uh, but I'll tell you what I did with that later. So I also um, had the whole spinning wheel. Um, it was set up here so I kind of moved it closer to where the fire would have been. Mm -hmm. Maybe they would have done some spinning. Mm -hmm. This is a, a carding tool that they would have used to um, get all the imperfections out of the wool. Yeah. So I had to place that there. Now this basket is a, a feather basket. 
Hmm. And so they would put goose feathers in them. And you know how they fly all around? Yeah. They had this top to keep them contained. Okay. So maybe they would, you know, use them for their um, their bed, um, their mattresses. You know. So if the mattress started to get kind of flat, they yeah, put they could more... do that. You know, I okay. know sometimes they put straw in them, but I'm sure they. The feathers seem like they would have been softer. Oh uh, yeah. So maybe they would have. Right. This is all in my imagination you know, when yeah. I plan these things, you know. But. Well, okay, so you are doing the book that you loaned me yes. that I've been eating up. You are authenticating the space it's, and telling a story. I'm, I'm trying to. Obviously, there's yeah. going to be things because of the century that we live in that are not going to be authentic. Right. But I, I sort of have a little story in my head yes. that I, I'm trying to tell and add to. Oh, that was so much fun. There is so much more to show you. And we're even going to talk decorating and we're going to do just a lot. We're going around the whole room and we're going to go into the other bedrooms too. So come back and visit us in the next video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I love to hear from you. Leave a comment. I will see you soon. Bye.